All right, a brief screencast to demonstrate how to set up um, Gmail, the district Gmail account, and it give it instructions to forward all incoming mail onto your GroupWise account for the Germantown schools. So we're going to begin by going ahead and logging into your Google account with your germantownschools.org. I just borrowed one here from an inactive account. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we want to go in and see what mail has come in previously to us. Again, this is a mail account gen most people have never checked. And the address is mail.google.com. All right, and this one has an empty mailbox anyway. All right, so once you get in there, if you have email at this point, you could select to forward it to your other other email um, because doing this won't move email you've already received, just things that are coming in the future. All right, our next step is to go over here to this gear icon, which is our settings. Click on it, go down to settings. All right, here are all the things we can reset. We're going to go over here to forwarding, and we want to add a forwarding address. So, all right, so this is setting a pointer where new email should go. You're going to go through here and add your GroupWise email. Okay, so this is your k12.wi.us email, and say next. Okay, double check and make sure that is correct, and then you say proceed. All right, at this point, it has emailed a confirmation code sent to your GroupWise email. So at that point, you're going to, going to want to go through and open up your GroupWise email, and it doesn't come right away, but it takes, you know, 15, 20 seconds, and then you will see something that comes from Germantown Schools, I'm just speeding it up a little bit here. All right, so you'll receive an email that looks something like this, Germantown School District forwarding confirmation. I open it up, and there's a big, besides all these email addresses, there is a big link here that you want to click, and it'll tell you that this one will now forward email to that place. So I can just close that, and I'm going to go back to my regular settings here. Okay, again, we're in our mail settings. All right, now there was a confirmation code, but really you don't even have to worry about that. Just go back to this page, hit the F5 button to refresh the screen, and it'll take care of confirming it. Okay, so now this looks a little different. Right now, forwarding is disabled. We're going to turn that on by clicking here. It says, from now on, forward a copy of any incoming email to this, and this should be your your uh, GroupWise address, and we're going to change this. Instead of keeping a copy of this in your inbox, let's just mark move this to archive. It'll save one if we really ever needed to get it. Let's say you lost all, something, you could always get back to it by th going through the archive, but um, but it also won't just stay in your inbox, gradually filling up. It keeps this this inbox empty. You can also do delete here, but uh, I would recommend archive. All right, and then when you're done, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and say save changes. 
All right, that's all you need to do. At this point, any of those notifications of a shared document or something that have been coming to this email box will go in here, be automatically forwarded to your GroupWise email account, and then delete this one, or at least archive it. So, all right, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much.